So the first thing we want to do is just add some concealer to the lace unit. I did not want to bleach the knots just because I've been noticing when I bleach the knots on any of my lace units, it's causing a lot of unnecessary shedding. And personally, I feel the concealer and the powder does the job. Right now I'm using LA Girl. I think it's like the shade Almond. Just find a good shade that works for you. And I do want to apologize for any of the background beep, beep, beep you may hear. That is my smoke detector. I know that is like the most common line that every YouTuber always says, but listen, honey, my ceilings are super duper tall and I cannot reach them. So I don't know when the heck I'm gonna even get this thing addressed. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but bear with me. I'm gonna fix it soon. Sorry. All right. So once you're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start plucking the hairline. The hairline did not come pre-plucked at all. So this was kind of challenging and I do over pluck it um, because I have a little bit of a widow's peak. So I was trying to do that right over in the front section and I over plucked it a little bit. I do end up working it out. And now I'm just going in and parting the front of the hairline and tweezing in between. Just take your time with this process. I want to say that this particular lace took me about an hour and a half, two hours. Because like I said, there was no pre-plucking before. So I literally had to create that nice natural looking hairline. Okay. So now I'm all done and I'm going to put the wig on my head, of course, and I'm using my Paul Mitchell serum. Y'all know I love that serum. I did put the unit down with Gotta Be Glue. That's a little bit redundant, so I did not show that in this video. If you want to see that, let me know. Or actually just go on YouTube. There's um, hundreds of other girls that do it. It's, again, very redundant. Okay, so now what I'm doing is using the curling wand to curl my hair. And tips for using the curling wand is I like to curl the curls in different directions. So for instance, some of them I do back, some of them are curled forward. This creates a lot of body and a unique styling pattern to your curling wand curls. So this is basically what I'm going to do around the entire head right now. As you can see, I was having some fun dancing to something. Probably Megan Stallion, big old freak. That's my current jam right now. The hair quality is pretty good. I will say it holds a curl very nice. And I did not get a lot of tangling and shedding during this process. Just adding the last of my curls right now. As y'all see in the front, I did go ahead and do some baby hairs on the unit as well. Nothing too dramatic. I do end up figuring out how to put this hair in a half up, half down, and I will show y'all pictures of that in this video so y'all can see what it looks like like that as well. It's actually really cute. Now I'm going to comb those curls out just because I like a little bit of volume in the top of my crown and that's pretty much it. I'm going to go do my makeup and then we're going to get into the nitty gritty of the rest of this review. Keep watching. Okay, so this is gonna be the final and complete look after I went ahead and did my makeup. The only thing I didn't show y'all in that preview as well is the box, and I know the box matters to a lot of folks, including myself, because I like to store my units in these boxes. This is the box that it came in. This is a very, very, very nice box to store a unit in, and it just says the name of it, the Celebrity 100% Virgin Remy Hair, and it has the style, which is also super important as well. If I didn't say it before, this is a full lace wig. Um, effortless glam is 24 inches and the color is natural. Full lace means that I could technically part this anywhere. The knots are not bleached, nor do I think I'm going to bleach the knots on this wig. Because as y'all can see, the hairline 
Okay, let's get into that first of all. This hairline was one of the most difficult ones that I've worked with. Now granted, I have not worked with too many hairlines. If you're new to my channel, you know that I am new to doing lace units and things like that. But this one, this is my third one and it was the most challenging. I feel like I really understand the difference between a nice good quality lace and a lace that is a little bit more poor in quality. I would say that this lace is poor in quality because it was just too hard to get the hairline to look nice and natural. I went ahead and finessed something out and I got this little look right here. It's not my absolute favorite but it's a style that I can wear with a nice like cocktail dress and for this little dress haul that I'm about to do it's going to be real cute. Make sure you tune in for that. But anyway, Anyways, the lace was very hard and very difficult for me to deal with and I'm not used to that at all. Another con about it was how dark the knots were and I'm resistant to go ahead and bleach them just because this is a unit that, you know, it says it's 100% virgin Remy human hair. But with that lace being of such poor quality, I'm scared of what bleaching is going to do. So I'm not going to wear it like a full lace wig. This is probably be the style that I'd, I'll do it in. You know, I might part it down the middle and do a straight style. I love the density on this unit. I will say that I wanted to do a half up, half down style, but um, time permitted, I got other things to do as well. So I knew to play around. You know, you know, you gotta play around with something and you need a little bit extra time. That's what this type of unit is. You're going to have to play around with it, allow yourself some extra time, allow yourself a little bit of patience. And I also want to say that I think I, I screwed up the lace in the front a little bit. Listen, if you honest, you're an honest reviewer, you be honest with yourself and when you done some up, uh, okay? And the lace, like, I was trying to cut into my widow's peak right here, y'all. But I think I cut a little bit too deep, so... That's going on as well, as well as the lace already being hard. So yeah, other than that, I will say that I really like the quality of this hair. The hair feels really good, y'all. I was trying to show y'all um, what the curls, the curl and wand curls are looking like right now. I have no idea what they're looking like. Um, it took me about two, three hours to get my makeup, you know, when you're up and you're down and you're doing things. So this is what the curls look like. I like to do my hair with a curling wand because I feel, am I focused? Okay, I like to do my hair with a curling wand because I feel that it gives me that body that I like, but it's not a very tight uniform, but the curls stay if it makes sense. Get, I just went all over the place with that. But my good girls, y'all know what I'm already talking about. I like the style of the curling wand when it comes to these type of units. I think that it's really pretty. Let me go ahead and show y'all what the lace is looking like up close. Definitely not my best, not my favorite, but honey, we will finesse anything. Anyways, y'all, I hope that y'all enjoyed um, me showing y'all a little bit of the styling process. I do want to get into more detailed styling videos. If you enjoy these type of videos, please remember to thumbs up this video and it lets me know that you want me to keep recording. Also, I am almost at 10k, so I would so appreciate if y'all could continue to subscribe, continue to share my channel so we can get this big milestone going. And y'all already know we're going to have a major, major giveaway, y'all. And, oh, oh, and I wanted to say too, um, for people who have been asking, Girl Grab a Glass is coming back. Girl Grab a Glass is coming back, y'all. And it's something that I definitely enjoy doing. And I've been getting requests to do more of them. So I will be doing more of them. Remember, you can submit questions to me at girlgrabaglass at gmail.com. And I'm going to be getting on the topics that I've already received as well. So stay tuned for those. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, like, all that. I'll see y'all next time. Until then, stay pretty.